Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. I hope you are having a wonderful morning. It is, um, it's a little chilly here. Well, it's a little chilly to me. So, um, I looked at the weather forecast and it says that it is, um, 56 degrees outside. So, and... It's gloomy, it's cloudy, <laughs> but you know, hey, got my coffee, y'all, and here is the fuel for this morning. Oh, that's so good, so good. <laughs> Somehow, when you drink coffee, oh, when I drink coffee in the morning, it kind of wakes my body up, I tell you. So I have some toast, I have a Fuyu persimmon, some grapes, and some blueberry jam that I made. I made this one, yeah. So yesterday, uh, Jada, well, yeah, watching the game, who that? <laughs> we was watching the game, uh, the kids and I, um, Jada and I kind of devoured the two of these um, <laughs> Fuyus. They were so good. Mm-hmm. It was a great game, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. But, um, if you all have been following me, you all know that I cut that little planter that uh, my neighbor made for me. I cut it in half, y'all. I put one half around um, the Moringa tree. And the other half, well, I was supposed to (laughs) drop my parsley seeds on yesterday, but I didn't. Mm -mm. Simply because... um, the people start coming in from uh, for cleaning the uh, the yard, so I like to um, I like to get out get out their way when they when they doing their work, you know, because I know I could be a little distracting when I'm saying watch your step, don't step here, don't step there. So I want to give them free range to do what they have to do. Mm-hmm. And we're going to drop those seeds. That curly, extra curly parsley. That's what it is. All right, guys. Let me finish eating. And um, I'm going to pick you all up when I get out in the garden. All right. Oh, but first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. (laughs) I will be sharing my Zone 9 garden. It is um, hmm, overcast, and it's really chilly this morning. This morning, glory. It's beautiful this morning. But um, so these are the three um, cabbages I, I planted on yesterday. They were growing in um, this pot, <laughs> so I put them in the ground so they can spread out and go on and get that head on. They are really beautiful uh, plants. I mean, I have a couple more in here. Yeah. yeah but I'm going to walk around and show you all some of the, the greens this morning. And here's more of the greens. Yeah. So let me share this with you. This is the middle bed and yeah. Mm. You're doing really good this morning. Really good. Mm. 
So these are some of the seedlings I dropped with you all in. So that's one thing about fall. Uh, when you drop seeds in the fall, they grow slow. But that's okay. I have patience. Mm -hmm. Yep. Still haven't planted these all yet. I must plant them out. Yeah. Then these kids. Oh, yeah. Very nice. All right, so <clears throat> this is what I'm gonna do. I like to take a whole bunch of the soil with it when I when I take it out. Yeah, just take a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch. So these, this is broccoli rob right there. And these are kohlrabis. That's kohlrabi. Yeah. So let's get these babies here. <clears throat> We're going to go and find a forever home for them. How about that? <laughs> yeah. All right. That is worm casting. Worm casting. There's some there. Sometimes I have made a compost tea and I go around my yard and just pick up worm casting. And that's the way they look. You could tell they're, they're different from a regular soil. Like this, look. Wait. Oh, let me get it. see it <laughs> it's right there that's it right there it's worm casting and as you can see I got big worms <laughs> yeah so that is a cool thing you know just to walk around your garden and pick up some worm casting real cool get jiggy with it get up get on up get up Get on up. Shake your money maker. <laughs> Jane Brown. So here are my flowers this morning. Look at them. They are gorgeous. Yes. A yellow hibiscus. 
a yellow. This is yellow. Beautiful, beautiful. So this is uh, my Louisiana vegetable guide, planting guide. So let's see what I can plant in uh, November, December. I'm sorry, y'all. I've been drinking some tea, iced tea. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's see here. So we have the fall and it's here. So let's go down. So look like I, well, I can plant some collards, but I got collards already. Mm. So garlic from 10, one to 11, 30. You can plant garlic. You can plant, well, kohlrabi, they say from October 30th, but you know, you know, <laughs> it's close enough. That's close enough. So to the person who said they wanted to plant okra in our area, so this is from the Louisiana uh, LSU Ag Center, right? So let's see, what did you say, okra? 3-1 to 8-1. So that's, that's your date, it's gone. So, you know, wait till March. I'm still dropping, you know, onions and leeks um yeah what well, they still say right. so we can still plant seeds of celery and this is 10 1 to 11 1 so you know you're in that range you can do that and let's see what else we could do this we say garlic yeah we, we can do we can do garlic um no okra <laughs> so sets and seeds of onions we still could do that until 12 15 to 1 30 so keep on dropping y'all because <laughs> you know it's it's gonna be okay yeah they'll be fine so let's see Hot peppers, we could start dropping them January 15th. Uh, seeds and plants. Oh, the plants, uh, March. Okay. Yeah, let's see what else we have here. In the fall, we're just looking for the fall. Uh, 10 1 to 2 28 spinach, so. That's never ending, you know. You just constantly drop your seeds, that'll be fine. So this is just a recommended variety for Louisiana. <laughs> so that's that's all of that. But you know, all of that that uh, that fall stuff and all the little things that you know, like. Uh, Herbs and let's see, I didn't see anything about herbs. I don't think I did. Mm -hmm. I didn't see anything about herbs. Maybe I get the other one. Brussels sprouts. No, we ain't doing that. <laughs> no. But I haven't nope, I didn't see anything about herbs in here. So they go on to tell me the variety. This is the recommended variety for Louisiana general fertilizer recommendations and year-round vegetable garden. Okay, year-round. Uh, so, January, greens, tomatoes, cabbage, greens. Still could plant them in December. Onions, southern peas, onions. So that's never ending for all year round in our area. Charlotte's snap pea, snap beans, cantaloupe, July, okay, and lettuce. I'm still gonna plant lettuce. Greens, butter beans, cauliflower in that area. Oh yeah. Irish potatoes, <laughs> Irish potatoes, 
y'all know what it is <laughs> um carrots so carrots um yeah never ending never ending for carrots greens cucumbers beets shallots okras and more shallots now this okra is in may because okra love that heat anyway so that is what we can still drop right now november december this is where we at y'all this is where we at ah, i want to thank you all for hanging out with me i don't know if y'all can see me oh there i am hey i hope y'all have a great great evening Ugh. i'm tired y'all i'm tired yeah but anyway guys i hope you all have a great day thank you so much yes hopefully i see you tomorrow for the live yes <laughs> all right guys later y'all Thank you.